Dual Universe is a space game that has been in development for around about four years now, and very shortly everyone will be able to get the first public and open glimpse of how the game is actually running. Dual Universe launches into open beta on the 27th of August and will simultaneously drop its NDA. In short, this means that everyone who wants to be able to jump both into the game as well as make videos will finally be able to do so. Dual Universe then is a larger scale MMO space game, which is set on a single shared server. Within this world, the players will have full control over the economy, manufacturing, organisations, alliances and even the very environment itself. In fact, the developers state that a game of this scale has never been attempted before, let alone a space game. So, there's not really many direct parallels to Dual Universe out there. The game has some similarities with other titles such as Space Engineers, Elite Dangerous, Star Citizen and of course EVE Online, but it's very much its own thing. Perhaps the closest other title out there which is currently in early development is Starbase. Anyway, let's take a look at what some of the game will have to offer, but first let's talk about the game's pricing model. As I said, from tomorrow the title will go into open beta. Dual Universe has also a very restrictive NDA which has prevented anyone from posting videos directly from the game. That will change once the open beta launches. The game will also use a subscription model, which in this day and age is a relatively unusual thing. Other famous games that currently have subscription models are of course EVE Online as well as World of Warcraft, although those titles also have other ways to pay for access. Dual Universe will be priced at $6.99 per month and this will be purchasable with blocks of either 3 months, 6 months or 12 months. Unfortunately, it's not going to be possible to pay for a single month, month by month, which I think is quite disappointing, but essentially the smallest fee you can pay is around about $20 for 3 months of access. Now, For some people, the subscription model is certainly going to be a controversial choice. Nowadays, most games try and avoid this model, and some with good reason. A prime example of trying to avoid subscriptions is that subscriptions can get expensive when you're tied into them. Now, personally, I'm okay with the subscription model myself. My early MMO days were spent with Ultima Online, Anarchy Online, EVE Online, and many other titles from the early 2000s. A subscription model brings with it a lot of advantages. Most notably, it means that the developers can focus on real, solid gameplay, rather than having to develop free-to-play mechanics. And also, the single shared server tech behind Dual Universe is likely to be very expensive. Anyway, more on the details of joining up can be found in the video description. Let's move on to the game itself. The market is a huge focus for the game. The entire market is player run, where players can place buy and sell orders. This includes the ability to not only sell resources, but also to sell spaceships that you have constructed or indeed anything else. Prices for commodities will be affected by supply and demand, and this means that your current location will also be a factor in the situation. For example, some planets might have a high abundance of a particular material, and therefore that material will be cheaper in that location. Conversely, the opposite would also be true. The market will be accessible from a variety of locations across the game world. One of the biggest things about Dual Universe appears to be the ability for players to build their own organisations. Now These seem to have a full guild system or full guild style mechanics attached to them, which will allow players or an organisation rather to set rules, asset ownership, permissions and other such things. Members are free to join and leave organisations as they see fit, and players and groups will also be able to set rights and permissions on territories that they own. This means that players also have a lot of control of specific regions over the game. Ultimately, the takeaway here is that Dual Universe is very much a PvP game, however it isn't a complete PvP free-for-all, and there will be areas and entire regions in fact which can be under very tight control. The way PvP will work however is that there will be some depth to it. Both spaceships and other property can be directly attacked and destroyed, Moreover, it will be possible to take resources from other players. From this perspective, it will be possible to use PvP to make money. Everything within the game can be built by players, and that includes ships, buildings and even space stations. The planet itself can even be edited after a fashion due to people mining and digging in areas, not to mention building bases, towns and cities across the planets. 
The game's scripting tech will apparently allow players to set other features and interactive elements on these constructions, and once ready, these objects can then in turn be converted into blueprints which can be sold on the marketplace. Some other things which are well worth mentioning at this point, the game features multiple planets, and players can seamlessly travel between all of these via their spaceships. New planets will be added over time. Also, Novaquark have spoken many times about the massive numbers of players that will be able to interact on the same server and indeed in the same location. In fact, there's entire videos on this which I will link in the video description. If this actually works as described, then it sounds like it's going to be a very, very impressive tech. Okay, so that's most of the information that Novaquark have published so far. There is more, of course. There's various developer diaries if you want to get into the really nitty gritty. But personally, I want to actually get hands on with the game before I talk about it too much further. I haven't had the chance to play a dual universe uh, yet, so the open beta will be my first time in the game, and I suspect the same will be the case for many other players as well. I also have a lot of questions about the game, and I'm very keen to see it in action. Over the coming days and weeks, I'm planning on both taking a close look at the game and covering it here on the channel. So we're going to see how it all goes, but from all outward appearances, it does certainly look very interesting. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.